Okay. Um, using a camera I haven't used in a while. See that ugliness? Well, it's not that bad, but I'm thinking there might be a pinhole leak somewhere in that mess. Because uh, I'm not getting any reading at idle or at cruise, but it's I'm getting my reading once I get on the throttle. Of course, you got a lot more gas pressure going through what uh, high loads. So. Um, if you have an air pinhole leak, it could suck in air, so and that'll definitely throw off the reading. So I'm going to pull that O2 out, and I'm going to take my torch and see if I could kind of, hopefully it'll, uh, see if I can flow that where I've welded it, see if we can get it to flow a little bit nicer than that. On top, especially, I mean, you tell it looks sealed on the bottom, it's the top where I was welding blind. That's what really sucks. would go more into the pipe. They do that on purpose, I guess, with the, uh, the deep foam, I guess, to prevent, uh, or should extend the life of the sensor. I imagine that's to help, you know, from condensation and stuff. It's probably in other climates. This is Arizona, so we don't get, it shouldn't be too bad. Using my handheld camcorder to see if it can record the uh, gauge now without freaking out. At idle, that's much better. Better angle here. Sweet. That's probably reading uh, reality now. So, all right. It's been all day ever since yesterday getting this going. So. I still don't know what to put in this third pod right here, though. Hmm. We got full gauges in here. Who knows? Yeah, it was almost to 11. So I think it's reading right now. <laughs> 